So, what happens when God plants a garden? Good morning. I'm Larry Kirkpatrick. I'm the pastor of the Muskegon and Fremont, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist churches, and I'd like to share today from the Bible from Mark chapter 4, verse 26 to 29. This is our devotional passage for this morning. Here's what it says. This is Jesus speaking. And he said, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground, and should sleep by night and rise by day, and the seed should sprout and grow. He himself does not know how. For the earth yields crops by itself, first the blade, then the head, after that the full grain in the head. But when the grain ripens, immediately he puts in the sickle, because the harvest has come. So, what happens when God plants a garden? Well, what we have here is Jesus likens the kingdom of God in this parable to a farmer who plants a garden. And he tends the garden, he carries on, and eventually there comes the time where you have the harvest. And again, you have the, the, the punchline, the, the main point of the parable is that last verse, verse 29. He keeps tending the things he's harvesting, he's, that he's farming. But when he comes to the harvest, here's again what 29 says, But when the grain ripens, immediately he puts in the sickle because the harvest has come. So that's what God does. He's going to allow sin and suffering and mayhem and chaos and disaster and cancer and you name it. It, it gets allowed. It's being allowed now during the process while this uh, garden is going forward to fruition. But God is a lot like that farmer. So the farmer, he plows the field, he puts the seed in, he waters the seed, and when the seed is grown up into plants, he takes care of that, and finally there comes a day of harvest. So how long will God allow this mayhem and, and cancer and crazy times and the terrible things that are happening, perilous things happening on this earth? It's the matter of the crop until the crop is ready. But notice that as soon as as soon as the crop is ready, he harvests it. God isn't going to wait any longer. He's not going to let an extra 10 people or an extra 2,000 people or an extra 2 million people die of cancer because he just was lazy or he just was busy doing something else, maybe making a, pl a new planet somewhere. God is going to finish this conflict between good and evil on planet Earth just as soon, just as soon as it's nothing more can be achieved by allowing it to continue any further. When the harvest is ripe, and God is looking for a generation of Christians who will be that ripe harvest. When they are prepared, immediately the farmer will reap. Immediately the farmer will harvest. God will finish this work and Jesus will come to the earth, literally, physically, audibly, in glory. And so, these are special truths that are very important to us to know. God isn't just allowing sin to carry on randomly or... Uh, slowly, it's just as soon as this can be ended, he's going to end it. And he's going to end it with total victory, total revelation of the truth that he wants to share with us. So, sin is being revealed, and God's unselfish character, his perfect character is also being revealed. And those are things that angels and, and prophets and good men and women have wanted to look into for a long time. And we get to live in a time why shouldn't that end come during our generation? I believe it should. Are we going to be willing for him to use us? And that's a question that we need to provide that answer for by our lives. So let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your love toward us. Thank you for planting your garden. Thank you that we're in the garden. And please, Lord, use us. Help us to come to full maturity and use us for the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Help us, Lord, to be that special last generation who gets to see Jesus come and help us to hasten that day, is what the Bible says. Help us to be those people that hasten that day. Through your strength, for your glory, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you today in this wonderful, special day, right before the harvest.